The Anasas Wastewater Treatment Plant has been in operation since the 1970s and discharges its treated water into the Fraser River. In 1998, it was upgraded to a secondary treatment plant. Over 5,000 pieces of equipment are controlled by a complex, highly automated system. Hi, my name's Craig and we're here at the Anasas Island Wastewater Treatment Plant. This is the largest of five plants that Metro Vancouver operates and one of the largest plants in all of Western Canada. Today we're going to go for a tour around here and I'm going to explain a little bit about what happens here at the plant. The first stage of treatment takes place in the influent pumping station where solid debris is removed from the wastewater. So we're here in the Anasis bar screen room and what we're doing now is we're going to start removing all those sticks and rags and other things that people put down in the toilet like uh, tampon applicators and condoms and anything else you really can think of that these screens will remove. What's happening here is this rake's going to go down and it's going to pull in through the screen all this debris and it's going to pull it up as you can see it's going to go and get scraped off into an auger. Later on we're going to take all that debris and we're going to squeeze all the water out of it and then it's going to be sent off the landfill. All that water is pumped up after it's been screened and it's going to go into this PA tank behind us here. What happens is we inject air into the water and we slow the velocity of the water down and that allows all the heavier inorganics like the grit and sand to settle out with the lower specific gravity of water. The debris, grit and sand is collected, removed and sent to the landfill. The wastewater is then pumped to the sedimentation tanks for primary treatment. Now that we've completed preliminary treatment, which is screening and grit removal, it's time for primary treatment, which really means physical treatment, or treatment by settling and gravity. What's happening here is, as the water flows through this tank, it's moving very, very slowly. All the scum, fats, oils, and greases are floating to the top of the surface, and all the heavy organic matter is settling down, primary sludge. So we're gonna collect all these fats, oils, and greases at the front of this tank, and we're gonna then dewater it and then send it to landfill. But all this organic matter, the primary sludge that we collect at the bottom of the tank, that's gonna further go to thickening and then digestion. Now that we've finished primary treatment, it's time for secondary treatment, which is biological treatment, utilizing microorganisms to treat the wastewater. As you can see behind me, we have four large domes. Those are the trickling filters. Inside the trickling filters, we have about 15 feet of this plastic media. Basically what's happening is as the water filters through this media, this biofilm or this slime starts to grow on this media that has all these organisms and they're gonna start consuming all this soluble uh, organic matter and this really finely suspended organic matter that we couldn't settle out in the primary sedimentation tanks. Later on, all that biomass will slough off of this media and it's going to go into the underdrain system and it'll go on further downstream into the process. As the wastewater leaves the trickling filters, you can see those pyramid shaped domes behind me. Underneath there is the solid contact tanks. As the wastewater goes into those tanks, any remaining soluble BOD will be converted into suspended solids, which we can then uh, settle out in the secondary clarifiers further downstream. After the wastewater leaves the trickling filters and solid contact tanks, it comes here to the secondary clarifiers. Here we have 12 secondary clarifiers, about 7.5 million liters each. What happens is the wastewater slows down and it's going to reside in this tank for about four and a half hours. And in that four and a half hours, it's going to slowly settle out all that heavy material. And the water on the top is very clean. As all that mass on the bottom, we're going to collect that secondary sludge and that's later going to be thickened and then digested. Here at the Annis Asylum Wastewater Treatment Plant, we have four 12.5 million liter anaerobic thermophilic digesters.
what's happening here is we're taking all the primary sludge from the primary treatment portion and then all the secondary sludge from the secondary treatment. We're mixing that in those tanks at 55 degrees Celsius for around 20 days. That sludge is broken down in a four stage process. All that sludge after it's been cooked for 20 days is going to be sent to dewatering. 